This our show, and we talk about everything, and we talk about everything. Royal Flex, the brand zone introspective insight right now. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. I am King Dev Dope. And this is Shannon Shenanigans. And this is Royal Flex, the brand's introspective insight talk show, the Black Wall Street Podcast. Sounds a lot better when I do it. Nah, it's not. Sounds a lot better. Did you hear episode 100? <laughs> Best one. Yeah. Why? Because you when did I, it? Man. I don't, I don't, you was forgetting what to say. I, you was asking in the middle of what to say to what to say. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm up there with Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. I don't even know who that is. Uh, the the word of the show is. Hey, he's a radio personality. Shog. 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 S H O G. Now, mind you, this is a British word, so it, it, shog. I, it fucked me up when I first I'm heard. I'm going it. to shog. 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 Uh, that sounds means... like what gay niggas use to clean out their booty. It's not oh like they put God. vinegar in that motherfucker. Just going shog. Oh my god. Come on now, douche. It shog. means <laughs> to jog along. So, like, if you walk in, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shog now because Listen, I've been walking enough. Since I finally got my LGBT community card, I can speak for yeah, us. Yeah, alphabet card. My alphabet card. Yeah. I can speak for us. And shog is going to stand us. for when, <laughs> when gay nigga, well, when we <laughs> <laughs> get our get our booty done. With vinegar oh water. Oh, my God. That's a fucking shawl. The quote of the show is, if you want a guarantee, buy a toaster. <laughs> now, <laughs> I love that. I love that because it's going to confuse you at first. Yes, it will. It just confused everybody. But let me tell you, really think about if you want a guarantee, buy a toaster. Why the fuck is you wanting a guarantee? Why you fu- Guarantees ain't promising in this world. Anything can happen, motherfucker. Guarantees ain't guaranteed. <laughs> So, go buy a fucking toaster, nigga. Go do something stupid. Nigga. I know this is off topic like a motherfucker, so I ain't going to expound on it. But just to finish, to buy a fucking to- a toaster is pointless. Right. But it's guaranteed, but it's guaranteed. because you bought it. <laughs> That's what you That's expect, nigga. Fact. A nothing. <laughs> Bunch of nothing. Pointless shit. That's what you expect. You want a guarantee? Buy a fucking toaster. Go buy a toaster. That or be- a refrigerator. Nah, refrigerators or, got some got some need. Yeah, that's, that's it's like that's a that's nigga that's just saying, you want a guarantee, go buy a stapler, nigga. Like, how often you use a fucking stapler? Or, or a pencil. Go buy Pen- a pencil. Pencils could be a little different. <laughs> you still buying the pencil. <laughs> what more can a pencil be? It's that, it's that broke. A weapon? Don't bring that. A pencil. toaster can't be a weapon? No. You but, hit, I hit you in the head. I turn the toaster wrong, hit you in the head, I could burn you. A better example would be... Throwing a toaster in the in the uh, bathtub and letting it, yeah, that would be. But the fucked up part about that, the cord not long enough. Thank you. And then even if you throw it, it's gonna unplug. (laughs) (laughs) It just got a toaster. Now you now you're gonna have all crumbs. (laughs) (laughs) I crumbs in the bathroom. You know who gonna clean this shit up? Not never mind. You tried to kill me. Yeah, who Who cleaning this up? (laughs) Because I'm out. I'm done. Shower over. Yeah, done. I'm out. And she probably what name the last time you took a bath, nigga? How, how how they gonna drown me in a motherfucking shower? I mean, unless you can, could that shit work? Google it. What? If can can that toaster method work in a shower? Yes. Okay, that's it's all. Water. I need to know. Water's sure? a conductor of electricity. Once what, water if I, what, gets, what, what if I just jump? You're not gonna stay in the air. What goes up must come down. Ah, uh, <laughs> Matrix, nigga, Neo, my, my knees. <laughs> you slow motion. <laughs> Hey, with death, your shit slow down, right? Not time. Good point. Yeah, T- time stays the same. Good point. Time definitely stays the same. Nah, uh, well, well uh, unless you, unless you uh, are my the girl that I love, Lauren Hill. She move on her own time. She the do only move bitch on her that can move on. Oops, excuse me. The only queen that can move on her own time. You know what? Fuck whole level of life, which is good to get to. But it still still seems like Hove is a little stressed at times. Uh huh. Lauren Hill don't nah. seem like she sh- she done balanced like her. almost all her chakras oh, to the nigga. point where she next level. Nigga. Wiz Khalifa too. Like her spiritual yeah Wiz. Mm, nah Wiz is there. Did she, yeah he, he just talk about nah, he's on a di- well you know he we he gotta been, get to that level. Yeah that's a fact. Well we need money first because obviously money could provide a little freedom that most don't have it's different if a nigga told you to dream away but it's like nigga i don't even got a pillow the fuck i'm supposed to drink well i don't sleep on pillows so that don't work for me that analogy don't work like, for me. Like, pillows sleep on me oh. <laughs> <laughs> no 
No, seriously. I don't sleep on pillows. The pillows will be on me. <laughs> I just, I'm just I like darkness. Pee. Okay, just get your sleeping mask, nigga. Nah, because I need to be what able to like peek. You need to make sure nobody. You can do that with a stick. <laughs> Yo, make sure nobody messes. Well, get you two eye patches then, nigga. <laughs> two eye patches. Two eye patches. Shit. Oh, yep. Promote. Yeah, make sure. Shout out Mr. Okay's Central. <laughs> If y'all want some, go to my page at King Dev Doe, um, and click the link in the bio. And go to Mr. Okay's Essentials and buy all the candles, body butter, um, um, soap that you need because it's all fire. Like I started breaking out after um, I used it, and then I went back to using like Bath and Body Works stuff, and then my skin started like getting all these bumps on them. So then I just been using the Mr. Okay's and I. Got it back to smooth in the groove. Now, when you go on his page, just go ahead and skip past all that propaganda, propagandized bullshit that he be putting <laughs> up. This nigga, the most fake black liberal I ever fucking liberal. I don't even know what a liberal is. Left side, nigga. Left side. Just know that I'm right-handed. That's that's not what your Facebook says. <laughs> your Facebook is a little different. A little Facebook. Different. I'm talking about Instagram, boy. Oh, I'm gonna be on your Instagram. So how you gonna tell them to skip past all the proper? Oh, this Instagram? I said Instagram. I mean, I Facebook. said Instagram. Oh, you I'm ain't talking about Facebook. Well, we ain't talking about Facebook. What did I say? You s- Facebook. Okay, then I'm right, then, nigga. No, no, no. no, no. I'm talking topic. about it's, no, no. Well, we ain't talking about what you're talking about. That's you. You gotta listen. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> That's listen. the donkey cells coming out. You. Oh, dark ass dog. The, the dark side, nigga. But you, but clearly, but you just said that you wanted to bring a dark skinned queen on the show. And you felt you like not a dark skinned queen. You want to be a bad bitch. So you got good pussy up under them them oh. shorts. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> eyes up here. Because we're not doing you got that. Good pussy we're not up doing under that. that. <laughs> we is not nah, doing that. You got something you got to say? All right. So to finish off the off topic, so lot of people taste like soap. Soap. We didn't even start. We were still talking about off. Topic. We was all off topic still. Yeah. Oh, okay. So cilantro tastes like soap. You ever had cilantro? No. So I just came from. I don't think um, I did anyway. I just came from. Uh, whatever that restaurant yeah. is called on, on Monroe. I literally forgot what it's called. But a Vietnamese restaurant? The Vietnamese restaurant. No, it's a Chinese restaurant. It's Vietnamese. No, it's Chinese. You sure it's Chinese? Yeah, because when I went there, they was like, Marcus and um, his girlfriend was like, you got to get that from a Vietnamese. Oh, I see your point. from a Vietnamese yeah, restaurant. Yeah, I got it from a Vietnamese it's not, place. It it's not, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, yeah. it's cilantro in there. And when I ate the cilantro with like the meat and stuff, it tastes like soap. So I'm like, my, my initial reaction. You got to go to an actual Vietnamese place nah, nah, and nah. get it. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking, oh, dang, this. Why does meat taste like soap? Like hmm. they done washed it, <laughs> put it in the soap water, you, and then just took it out. People and put like it in wash my... meat, right? <laughs> like you like wash your meat. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna wash your meat. I wash your meat. I wash your meat and put I, it in there. Wait, wait. Don't rinse off. They don't. Rinse don't rinse off. off. I washed your. Meat. No rinse off. I wash with this soap. <laughs> Come find out. In. Extra oil. Cook fast off. <laughs> <laughs> 13 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. No, no, no. Cook faster. Cook minute. faster. <laughs> That's the He said, Come find out. <laughs> it cook faster. <laughs> no. For real. And I didn't even think about that. Black people like wash meat. So I'm like, Why does it taste like soap? So then I start moving the meat around. Like, I'm not eating this meat. <laughs> I'm moving up. It's beef, so I'm moving oh. this beef around. And okay. I don't normally eat beef anyway like that right. anyway, so I just move it out the way, and I'm just eating the noodles. Mm-hmm. So then I eat the noodles, noodles with a piece good. of cilantro in there, and it tastes like soap again. <clears throat> so I'm like, yo, this tastes like soap. Why does this taste like soap? So I was like, what is this? Yeah, you, I was like, what is this green stuff? And it was like cilantro. I'm like, why does this cilantro? It smell good, but it tastes like soap. So then his girlfriend was like, Oh, there's like this thing that some people, when they eat cilantro, they taste soap and other people think it's really good. So it's literally scientifically like it's a fact that some people in their gene pool, um, it oh, olfactory receptor, olfactory, it's a variation of olfactory receptor genes that allows um, them to detect aldehydes, a compound found in cilantro. That is also a byproduct of soap and part of the chemical makeup of fluid sprayed on some bugs. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. This is a pesticide? Like, well, it's not a pesticide. The same compound that they use Nigga, when I hear, is found when in I cilantro. When I hear spray on bugs, I think pesticide. Right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But 
the compound is already in cilantro. So some people have the gene like in their gene to pool just detect it. to just detect the um, aldehydes in there. Oh. So then you taste soap, but it's really just that compound in the actual cilantro comp- like makeup. That's that's how I got a love for white women. It's just a oh. compound that's inside me <laughs> that turns on. That's not in most oh, men. Oh my, black men, men, <laughs> yeah. men. men. <laughs> ain't, no, 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 no. I ain't saying none of that. Men, it's all in you, men. All the motherfuckers. But that's an interesting point. I want to taste it because I I think I could have tasted it. Probably found it good as a bitch. But whenever I have foe, I don't. I never tasted anything off. I like the shit. I like Did it have cilantro in there? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know. Eighty percent of the shit. I know. I ordered the chicken one. Is with, chicken foe? Yeah. Oh. You gotta go to the Vietnamese. They got a whole a the, whole the, who? the Vietnamese. <laughs> what? You said it wrong. No, I didn't. Say it again. Vietnamese. Yeah. Nah, that's wrong. What I say? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, say it again. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. No, you said Vietnamese. Vietnamese. It's Viet Vietnamese. <laughs> sound like a, sound like a Vietnam vet. Just say Viet. Wait, not sound like a Vietnam vet with his knees chopped off. <laughs> Viet my knees. <laughs> Cut my knees off. My knees go. Yo, but wait, what? Vietnamese. Anyway, Vietnamese. You, you gotta go to the Vietnamese. Vietnamese. The Vietnamese place. Vietnamese. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> so you gotta go to that place, whatever, and order. It's more of a selection because I just get a, a flavored fucking broth, and uh, usually That's the, the thing. chicken. Broth. I had like the the beef broth. Well, obviously, I ain't never beef, had that. But it just tastes like water. So yeah. then again, I'm thinking because I say it's like so. They need to put on food and soap water. <laughs> Like wait, they just wait, wait, you, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they just walk it by you mean. <laughs> yeah, bitch, See, I know what you did. I know what you oh, did. Oh, so you bitch. like soap water? <laughs> oh, so you like soap? Can water. I talk to the chef? <laughs> he Let me shower. see what he did. <laughs> yeah. I heard a lot of sizzling back there, but I don't, I don't know. Nah, just, this this just a shower going on. Not <laughs> <laughs> soap water because it really tastes like soap. So I was yeah. like, dang, and this don't got no taste. What's really going well, on? Well, you learned something new about yourself. Yeah, I know, I did, because I didn't even know. So I told his girlfriend, I told both of them, really. I was like, I was like, yeah, I didn't know that was the thing, because I just sold cilantro at Wegmans. That's it. Yo, you gonna meet, you gonna meet a girl one day, and you sh- you never known shit about her, but she gonna take you out to dinner one day, and she gonna be like, no, he don't like cilantro. You gonna be like, because it tastes like soap. You found that out, girl. <laughs> you been listening to the show. You been listening to the show. <laughs> Episode one hundred and two. <laughs> you a fuck, you little fuck. <laughs> you a fuck. Like Never ain't shit, like, like, yeah. with the dreamy eyes after like that. One hundred and two. <laughs> what else you heard? What, you, what was your favorite you episode? Want, matter of fact, I'm not even about to order nothing. You, you do it, girl. Yeah, you go ahead. Anything, right? Even the drink selection. He don't do that water if it's not the if it's not uh alkaline. Yeah. Ah, uh, alkaline. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Like the girl, the the um, he got money girl. <laughs> Oh, he got my. Oh, she, <laughs> wait, but you just know I drink alkaline. You make you make random eyes with a nigga to understand what you're going through. <laughs> Yo, sh- what? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. <laughs> you got to you got to switch it up every time. You can't see him no more. You got to. Yo, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey, not today, but uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> One day, this, she doing all the right things, all the right things. She know me. That's different because men take the time first to actually try to get to know the girl. But it's, I'll get wooed like a motherfucker if a bitch took the time. That might, that might be the date right there. I'm gonna take you to go see some, go go get some cilantro, bitch. See <laughs> see which one you like because if you like the shit, uh uh-uh. uh, you wanna like soap. Right. Yeah. Yeah. you got the right you jeans. You got the right jeans. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Devin a smart man. I'll give him his crazy. He still ain't shit. But Devin a smart man, Whatever. you know. He, he he got good good genes. The nigga, you know, you you ain't you ain't fat. I ain't saying you you, you ain't fat. <laughs> so, I ain't saying so, nothing else, but you ain't you fat. Ain't fat. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, nigga, man, if I could, if my son or some shit or my daughter could be some, you know, along the lines of you, nigga, I wouldn't be upset. I'll put it like that. Oh, okay. But an alcoholic, short, light skinned motherfucker might have an issue with. It. I wouldn't want my son to be have a beer belly by twenty five. Who would not want that shit? Well, you know, stop drinking beer. <laughs> Nigga, and tell the son to stop coming up after 
five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Japan, they come up at 4 a.m. So you want me to travel and get some bitch? Yeah. I ain't leaving America. Make America mine again. That's what it should Make America been. mine again. Because we was here <laughs> before was really all them Chino what? and the Indians. It's Chino. No, okay, so we gonna, we gonna get Chino, it. Chico, 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 the the Asian squint eyes, um, Listen, Indians. They make our phones. That shit gonna blow up on your face one day. What you call us? <laughs> you know, it's gonna be like them Sam, them Samsung shits, nigga. Well, Keep fucking with us. Well, I just buy the um, one of the celebrities just um, started making black owned phones. Oh yeah, you said that shit. That, I can't remember. No, 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 no. That out the one that I said on the show before was shit? from uh, we buy black from. When we was watching um, Trigger Warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just read a celebrity. I forget what celebrity started making um, manufacturing phones. Black celebrity started making. This ain't no Soldier Boy shit, is it? Nah, this ain't. Um, Them game this ain't, this ain't Soldier jo- Soldier so, Soldier System. So, soldier 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 Game and Council. Yeah, that go. shit. Nah, nah, nah. nah it's not you, that. You, it's you a sure? legitimate. It's a legitimate phone. All right, bet. Check it out. I, I gotta look it up. But anyways, um, <coughs> that's the off topic. It's kind of went. Too far. A little too many off topics. But um, tell us about these political. First of all, did you watch any of the debates? Did you see any clips? Nothing. You need to get on. Like, if you're gonna make America yours again, you got to make sure it start with whoever is trying to lead. Now, falsely lead this America. Well, I I would need to literally whitewash or political political wash all the motherfuckers. We got to start anew. Yeah, all new. All them. All them. So, oh, now we preferably will start with some HBCUs, get them lawyers from there. What we will have them do is focus on the most erroneous cases that they could get thrown out. The person that could pretty much save the most black folks that way first. Okay. We elect them to even be the mayor first. Start off slow. Start off slow. Don't give you too much power, nigga. Okay, all right, all right. right. After that, the next step is we'll see what you could do for the vast community. So you took care of the prisons. Now let's start with the school system. Let's start with the school system, because the shit I've seen today, unacceptable. Nonetheless, nonetheless, after that, after we, we can see you handling uh, fucking, well, we're going to throw another extra one on there. We're going to throw food. Make sure you, you could get nutritional food into the schools, because that's a separate issue on itself. Yep. And uh, after that, we're going to get you the governor. Now we're going to expand your responsibilities to... Can you do this for this? This Respons- this uh, responsibilities. What I say? Responsibilities. We're gonna expand your responsible. Finish it. Abilities. There you go. There you. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're doing this for neighboring communities. Okay. Okay. All right. And all then right. after that, you're gonna be senator of New York. That's when you get into actual politic politics. Now we'll need fifty of you motherfuckers because each of you needs your own section. So whoever could do that the fastest, we have a little actual America. Then 50, because you could be white, black, Puerto Rican, like uh, whoever. Because a, a nigga ain't taking up Idaho, nigga. Come on now. What you think this is? So we'll have a nice diverse. Why don't we just push group. all the white people that, that's not for us. Issue with that. Straight issue, to the middle. Issue with that is steel sharpen steel. We'll still need those combative white folks so we know how no, I, far I know. We, I know. Oh, so I know need the ones that's for us is still combative. Sometimes. Look, I still we can handpick the, the controversial combative ones. Nope, that sounds like what they do then. I want the most reckless one to speak because I want his voice that's a to really be heard. I don't want no whitewashing of our content to theirs because that's, that's what they do. They pick and choose who the fuck could be spoken to and heard from. So that's how I will go about it instead of me just complaining about how they do it. That's how I will go about it. Now let, let me get to what these politicians actually fucking do. Now, let's play a little game right now. All right. Okay. Social experiment. Social experiment. Hey, Dev. Yo. Your shoes is ugly. Your shoes ugly and your head bald. Okay, okay. 12 o'clock, you're sitting there, commercial. Do you know that your Senator Devin thinks that (laughs) light-skinned people, heads are bald and shoes are ugly? (laughs) can Can you go behind... Somebody that thinks those certain things. Now, mind you, I started this bullshit, but your commercial ain't come out first. So <laughs> my commercial came out first. I mean, your commercial came out first. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now the game is, how would you combat that? Did you know <laughs> that the person that's running against me 
loves all women, just like R. Kelly. Okay. Do you want this <laughs> representing you? You because me, I love of age women. Okay, you motherfucker. Nothing else. You motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Did you know? Like it, it's just you it, know. You know what's funny? Um, not to cut you off, but um, a good movie that actually uh, uh kind of speaks to this is Head of State. Yeah. With um Chris Rock, right? Chris Rock. Yeah. 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 With Chris Rock, and they said, and the, the white guy said. Baba and it's Fubu, Fubu. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that's a good movie to watch. When it, it kind of it, it loosely, it's a very comedic run on politics because this shit is funny. And Uncle Byrne is in there too. That's when he slapped everybody on the <laughs> on the train <laughs> termic or I whatever you want to call it. Just, just <laughs> no, I roll. There's a roll. And then the last one, he slapped yeah, it with roll. both. Oh. <laughs> 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 I might put that clip in. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny, but uh, but essentially, it's only the commercials that I'm I'm really talking about the yeah, campaigns, yeah, yeah. and that's what really will more more than likely see because a common person doesn't necessarily watch yeah the the actual debates, and even in the debates, these motherfuckers is so slick in their wording. That's why they limited it to the new structure where you got sixty seconds to uh to respond, uh, thirty seconds if you want to make a rebuttal. Yeah, they just, the follow they just up. Start, yeah. yeah. So uh, essentially, they know that the time spans, they're trying to appeal to a larger audience and they know nobody's going to sit there and listen to you for five, ten minutes. Get that shit out the way. Make it snippy. And if you got something to say back, nigga, have your points. I don't want to hear about the... All that extra the, stuff. Yeah, the runaround of why you think they're wrong. Nigga, why are they wrong? Yeah, why are they wrong? So Straight up, straight why, up, are, they why wrong? are they wrong? Which will make people more engaged and will shut, the, shut me the fuck up because whenever I see campaigns and shit like that, it's all high school Gossip. Yeah, that's just a fact. A bunch of he say she not nah, right, and they try to just say all the all the sugary stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, the sugar coat points. Because I it, it was funny on um <laughs> Thursday night when Bernie and, and um like all the the big name candidates mm-hmm. was um debating. Uh, they asked Bernie, "Well, you want to do universal health care or or it was either universal health care? Yeah, I think it was universal health care. Um, so how how would you pay for universal health care?" No, oh, no, 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 no. They asked if he would hire taxes for the middle class. Now, mind you, Bernie's whole campaign is structured around making Wall Street pay. Yeah. The upper point two percent of the population pay mm-hmm. and help working classes get out of, you know, the the financial hold and stronghold that's they're in, right? That's his whole campaign. It's been, Sounds good. been it since four years ago. Sounds so, good. They asked this question, and he talked all around, the Art of Lion, talked all around it to say, oh, well, we've been doing this and doing that, and yep. da, da, da. And then she said, you didn't answer my question. You have two seconds yeah. to answer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Will you tax the middle class? And my boy said, well, I have to tax the middle class in order to... I'm like, oh, 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 okay. You ain't say that. So now, so you done lost my... Oh, well, he already lost my vote from when he said that he don't believe that black people should get reparations even if we don't actually get reparations in the next four years five years eight yeah. years just the i the thought that you believe that we shouldn't get reparations is enough for me to say you ain't for me you, you know, ain't for us you know another thing that i, I noticed about the politicians that, that side of it like we gotta start knowing that we're gonna eat shit regardless what you doing flexing in front of goddamn shit Oh, no, nah, I'm just trying to move this. Like, nah, oh, okay. I'm like, you getting your posture right or something? About to, to, to whoop a nigga ass. Somebody, somebody says something in this motherfucker or something? God damn. Oh, now you just flexing. Okay. White women everywhere. I'm the big King Kong. All right. Anyway. I'm the um, big King Kong. <laughs> Don't call me King Kong. <laughs> like there was a little King Kong. A little medium <laughs> like a little, King Kong. That's my little baby King Kong right there. Go he, ahead. He go ahead in that King Kong. He a little Prince Kong. Prince Kong. All right. But yeah, it's all, it's all about... What form of shit do we want to eat? Because, yes, we would like to see things get better, but in order to see something get better, something has to get worse. In order for something to get worse, you would hope. In order for something to get worse, you would have to expect something to to have changed or to get better. So it's the expectation of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned the live on to see if anybody was in there. But, um, yeah. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, I ain't got nothing to say, no. You have to expect change. I would say, I would say, so <laughs> on on this whole politics thing, yeah. Um, 
Because one of the things is I feel like they're using because white people are smart. Oh yeah, geniuses. I feel like they're using the visuals from. Um, I always think about uh, a Kendrick's line, "Red states versus the blue states, which oh, one yeah, you governing, governing?" All that mm-hmm. stuff. You know, th- this gang on gang, basically, blah blah blah, right? And then I I, I felt like they were using this particular uh, political commercial talking about standing up for autism or they always, something like that. They always got some shit that they're standing up for. Um, we need to change this. The the visuals look just like Nip. Um, last time that I checked, video when they had the 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 red and the blue. Side to oh, side, yeah. and they came up, and it says, but on this, obviously, on this one, it's Republican, Democrat, and then when well, you put them together, they're purple, so you should be for, <laughs> <laughs> you should be for, da, da, da. but I'll put it like this. Let me ask you something. When you get paid to win or lose, like in the politics, the political way, you will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Yeah. So that being said, who is the most, which group of people influences the most other people? We do. We do. So whenever a white person wants a good idea. They looking at us. They, go- <laughs> they looking at How us. How can I steal some shit from you niggas? However, the issue with that is sometimes they go to the out of touch people and they'll more than likely have the hot sauce in my purse thing when Hillary would, would go and start pandering the black communities doing a little uh, dab and shit like that. She'll get the wrong influencers, but some people will get the right influencers, kind of like what Trump did, but the opposite way. Got the white people to back his ass up. He got the right influencers right. by saying the wrong shit. So essentially, uh, white people is just good at looking at us, finding the right people. Take it. Taking the right things, though. Yeah. Not the hot sauce and bags and dabbing on bitches. <laughs> Come on now. Well, I would say this. Well, I'll ask you a question. Pose you a question. To everybody else, too, watching. Um, you can comment in the, in the comments below. Um, can black people pander to black people? As a black person, can you I, pander to my community, our community? I mean, is, is pander, because, okay, what's the fine line between, is there a fine line between being Uncle Tom and pander? Um. Yeah, because Uncle Tom seems like you're pandering to a white white audience. No, I just feel like uh, no, 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 no. Uncle Tom, in my mind, is the ability to um try to be for the system no matter what. Like I don't care. I'm American. I don't care. Oh, okay. I am going to tell on you because you are going against the very fabric of this country and our founding fathers. That's Uncle Tom. That's one of those work hard nigger. You could get yourself out that position. Yeah. Pretty much. And uh, what was the other shit? Pandering. Pandering. Well, what were pandering? Pa- like what? Like what you just said. With um, that was Hillary Clinton. Though. Hillary Clinton. Pandering. She was pandering to the black community. I know. Cause oh. she, so can a black person pander to the black community? If a black woman sh- says she got hot sauce in her bag, I'm gonna look at her like she she gets hungry. <laughs> That's good. All right, she's prepared. So no. Yeah, the answer is no. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there's a way that somebody will make me so uncomfortable. And I'm like, you're doing too much. It's kind of like uh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. if uh, what's that nigga name? He's so fucking white. He's the news nigga. He's so fucking white. I don't know. He's he's light skinned nigga. Anyway, but um, he cool. He cool. But it seems like if he was the nigga that s- said that he bumped pop, um, used to smoke weed, uh, got two baby mamas in North Sh- North Charlotte, like it's funny. It's funny that you said all that because Kamala Harris said all of that. She used to listen to Pac. She used to smoke weed. And she got two baby daddies in North Charlotte? I don't, I don't know about two oh, baby daddies. So she didn't say all that. See? But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, <laughs> wordings is everything, right? She said that's what all that. Do. She like, said all that pandering to everybody. <laughs> nah. Yo, nah, but she did say she... I heard that like, part, you know, blah, blah. how do we know that's not... That's where I, I don't think it's pandering. She didn't make me uncomfortable to the point where I thought it was true. It, it literally is. She somebody. did for me. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I get it. She did for me. I yeah. felt like she was pretty, like she said. So I felt I I watched the debates. Obviously. Yeah. And you have <laughs> so you had a black person on each night of the debate. Cory Booker, which he blended in because he's so fair skin. Yeah. He blended in with all the white people. I just thought he had a tan. <laughs> <laughs> so when he started talking, I was like, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay, because I was like, I don't know anybody on this really? stage, but um, <laughs> when you watch, when you, I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it up and no, I'm gonna just, show you. I guess, but because when it first came on, I'm like, yo, I don't know who none of these people is, because I, I know of like the Buddha chicks, Buddha check, Buddha Greg. I was like, booty chicks. <laughs> on a Buddha Greg. So not only did they switch up the format, they got bitches twerking at halftime. <laughs> oh, we lit. Going to the break. What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, the white folks turn off yo. at this point. Yeah, yeah, they, viewership they know. shoots up, shoots up, and shoots down. <laughs> How does this happen? Um, that's funny. Uh, yeah, but like the Kamala Harris and all that stuff. Even the way that you pronounce her name, like, bro, that's not even. Kamala. Uh, it's Camilla, bro. Oh, Camilla. No, it's Kamala. That's how oh, you pronounce Kamala. it. That's how you pronounce it. But that's but not how you. It's spelled Cam- Camilla. Kamala. Kamala. Which one is it? It's Kamala. What I say? Camilla. Okay. Kamala. Kamala. That's the that's, appropriate. That sound like that sound like an animal on a Lion King. <laughs> ah, come on, love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you nut in her. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. No. Um, I like that name, though. But um, I don't like that name. Mm. I don't like it. But what I was saying is, so the first the first night, so obviously there's there's a black person on each side. Okay. The first night, second night. The first night, the black person spoke Spanish. I'm like, what are you doing? Spoke, speaking Spanish, trying to pander, his Hispanic pander, whatever it is, to that community. Damn. I don't know. Ever since YG, YG came out with go loco, go loco. White now, people in that motherfucker. That was. Call my phone. <laughs> <laughs> go loco. That was definitely cultural appropriation, but <laughs> I don't care. How? <laughs> whatever. He loved the Mexicans. <laughs> It's different when LA niggas do it. You had the whole sombrero on. It's you supposed to dance when, around the sombrero, not with it's it on different. your head. <laughs> <laughs> Just dance around. It. Dance around yo, that. that they yo, was doing it. You know how offended we'll be if white folks just started dancing around some watermelons and chicken. Yo, but that's not that's not our culture. Of course, we'll be offended. Who puts watermelon on the floor and chicken on the floor dancing around it? You I make, was offended when I went. Statement. I w- I was offended when I went to um uh 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 um. Cuba. No, what's the, what's that? It's um, it's a P town all the way out. Parrington. Parrington. I went to Parrington, and they have watermelon on the fruit bar. Oh, I remember you saying that dumb shit. I know. No, it ain't dumb. It's okay. Because then when you come into the city, every Wegmans got watermelon. Why? Because it's a higher concentration of black people. But let me ask you. Exactly. So why do, why do I just want to, uh, watermelon? What, white rotting. people love watermelon, too. I don't want them rotting, though. They're going to rot. Okay, not enough. Whatever. <laughs> we love them. We just don't buy them. We love all foods. <laughs> <laughs> we love all. Yo, that's it. <laughs> we love all foods. We're not just gonna have all these watermelon right now. No, no, like, no. What's, I mean, what's we going like on? Them, but we, we'll cut them up and put them in packages. Did you go to? We the save them. <laughs> we save them. Yeah, yeah. Put them in the freezer. Y'all, on the other hand, oh, yeah. y'all are savages. Eat all the watermelon. A you don't even want to cut them when you get home, so we gonna just, cut them for you. Just, yo, they do be having a nigga with a whole piece of watermelon in his goddamn. They don't show him with a piece of water. He got wow, a whole, whole hands. Watermelon. Like, we he cut like, it in fours. That's how they think about me, bro. <laughs> that's how they think about me. Cut them in fours. You just eat the little, the, the, the quarter of the, the watermelon. Four. You ain't not even eating it. Bruh. Cutting it all up. Boom. Boom. Um, <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> anyways, that's that's a, that's off topic. No, um, uh, I, I do want to finish. I what? do want to finish that, that thought, though. Which one? Go ahead. The thought right before, because. Oh, if we if we could fucking remember, I'm I'm mad. But the, right before the watermelon, we was talking about that fucking. Oh, gee, oh, I wanted to finish that fucking comment. I wish we. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, let's go. Hit me. I was hoping you will remember the conversation gonna. we was just having before. Ah, oh, never mind. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but what I was saying to end to wrap on the whole black person da 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 on Thursday night. Yeah. Kamala yeah. was flexing her blackness more than i've ever seen her really flex her blackness and now so um she was going at uh um um, joe biden okay saying like how she didn't approve of some policies that he did with busing and schooling and stuff like that and how she said she was that little girl that didn't have bus in the school and that so now she's so now so and it's funny because this was in her game plan because right after they i i would assume that her camp released a photo of her like as a little girl okay. and she looked like she rough from the hood on some 
You know what I'm saying? But like, she doesn't present herself as that. She presents present herself as they just found the worst picture. That's of her, what I'm saying. Of her going to her cousin house Not in even, the summer. Like, and it's hot. She look hot. She look bothered. She look like she from the hood. No, like, she look like she don't belong there. She right. <laughs> she look out of place. But if, and now she if, put that. On, and this is how you know she kind of pander into the black community because she put that on this t-shirt and now she's selling it. Because she said, for her. She I said, want y'all to see my That little girl was me. Hold yes. on. Yeah, that little girl wasn't you. You got, come on. She looked. She looked like she don't belong. That's it. But Kamala, we could be wrong. Like, she looked like she was beating people up. Look, <laughs> we need a Harris on the show. <laughs> she looked, All right. Look, and she posted it too. I'm selling these. What are you, Nigga, what are you doing? We need a Harris on the show. What are you doing? Okay. Why? We need to know who she grew up with. T.I. should be good. Oh. Get T.I. on the show to talk about Kamala. Well, this happened expeditiously. Nigga, fucking facts. I just want to... Look, we could be wrong. That's all I'm saying. We could be wrong. About what? Her life. She could really be that bitch doing that shit. Like, she was a she little not. ex-crip. She not. You never know. You don't know that. She not. Tell me the facts. Have you seen her husband? That don't got to do with her now. Have you seen her husband? She could have changed her life. Have you seen her husband? Look. All I'm saying is niggas like you is what <laughs> ruin America. Niggas like you. I right? Make America great again. No, get rid of niggas like you again. <laughs> <laughs> all over again. All over again. <laughs> Shit. Motherfuckers just be assuming the worst in the motherfucker all the time. All I'm just the not, time. I'm just not there yet with her. Like, And I feel like she's doing a lot to secure that black vote. Good. That she should. She should work hard I mean, for us. Well, everybody. No, 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 no. She's not working hard for us because she don't believe in reparations. Maybe. Everybody, well, everybody's trying to secure that black vote with this reparations. Dude, I feel like the reparations and the look, all, um now the student loan talk, all that shit are talking points. Dreams, right, 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 right. Don't believe in that shit. Do right, not believe in no, that who, shit. Who who believing in it? I'm looking. Who at, gonna pay for that? I'm looking at the one that has the most, the least interesting point that I'll think to vote for because it seems like he's giving me the less bullshit. Buddha Greg, the most. The, what's his point? You don't even know. Good. <laughs> Got my vote. Got my vote. Secured. Bag. Get the bag. He's real simple. He's Good. real simple. Even from when he was on the Breakfast Club, he's real simple. Good. Good. Because that seemed like a plan. I but then you work. have like a you have the first first you have the first 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 man in the White House. So the first 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 man. You acting like that's a problem? No, no, no. It's not. It's my not. No, no, no. You will come to your ass right <laughs> now. Stop playing. No, I'm I'm trying to I'm, Let me the, send first, a text message. the first the uh-huh. first 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 man. Okay. The first first man. Yeah, the first first man. But the first first man doesn't come with a first woman. Good. Or the modern president. Mr. Good. President. That's what we still. need in this world. Mr. President and Mr. First Man. <laughs> that terminology is gonna have to be worked out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But no, 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 no. Just, I mean, no, that's okay. About it. You like, just gotta you say it a saying? little like, different. Say it. Uh, no, no. Hello. Hello, hello, Mr. President and First Lady. Ah! <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Yo, a ma- oh, no, 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 no. Understand this real quick. Like, just think about Ms. this. First lady. Like, imagine because you understand. Like, it's there's the Senate is majority. <laughs> just think about Congress and everything, and they gotta straight address. <laughs> gotta all address. the straight men. The First Lady um, is really a first man. Hello, lady, Miss Lady. <laughs> like, yo. That'll be next level. Like I would want to see. I would pay to see that. Miss Lady, I would pay to see that. No, no do it more flamboyant. Miss Lady, ah. Mr. President, <laughs> can we just talk to you? Because <laughs> you know they they normally take uh, some type of space, occupy some space in in you know DC. So that that's actually that's. <laughs> the first lady go be at the Super Bowl singing. <laughs> yeah. Oh say, <coughs> oh say, still sound sound like Otis. <laughs> you cool with that blue? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! And at and at the end of it, she gonna be like, now all at once. No, he. It's not <laughs> my bad. Gender. My bad. <laughs> he. Well, what if he want whatever whatever he, he or she identifies as? They, uh, he. They it's, all it's gotta be. They He's all gotta man. be like all in unison. Three, two, one. Hi, Miss Lady. <laughs> Again, it's first, first, first ma- man. No, Miss Lady. First Lady. First Mister. Miss First, first Mister. First Mister. 
<laughs> what the snap? What this? Hey, this first mister. <laughs> mister. Yeah, if you don't give me the sexual eyes, you fire. <laughs> mister. <laughs> Every time you come into work. What if you got an arm cast? You better work that arm cast. You better work that. <laughs> work it, work it, work it. I won't be mad at you. <laughs> That's funny. Yo. Yeah, but y'all just to rap on that. It was it's jokes, but Gang jokes, I want that shit. Buddha Greg is I, I like Buddha Greg. Buddha Greg. Um Cause all these other stuff is real over since since and since over whatever. It's just over um since I can't. I want to say it, but it's not coming out. Find a new way to say it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just talking points out here. That's it. <laughs> I went from a whole word. It's just talking points out here. Like, whatever. Ain't no reason to be sophisticated. <laughs> now I'm sounding dumb trying oh, to be sophisticated. Over, over sensationalizing. There you go. Topics sure. like. Who just sent you a text message? So you- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They they watching. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Siri. Yeah, over sensationalizing, you know, the talks of reparations and like the Andrew every Yang. Black, every black. Every black issue, they just trying to. Open. Yeah, I wonder what's to, gonna be the next four years. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. I feel like that's what it is. Like, all they're doing is just talking about. They're trying to pander. Everybody's trying to pander to the black community. Yep. With an um, extreme version way, of with it. Their, right. An extreme um, version. Which the, I think the only person, honestly, that actually believes that black people should get rep- reparations is Oprah's spiritual advisor that's running. Yeah. Madeline, Madeline I for, I forgot, um, I forgot her name. Williamson or but something like that. But she's a beautiful lady. But she was she, on the podcast. Her podcast. I think. I think yeah. Don't get me to lie. But I think that's the only person that, because she's the person that started the talk of reparations. And every that's the question that went on. And then that's she, everybody kind of started jumping on the wave. But yeah. um, as for this universal health care and this um, elimination of all student loans and whatnot, mm-hmm. who's paying for that? Because I'm, I'm not about to pay more taxes than I already pay now to, you know what I'm saying? Like, And plus, that, that whole... The the richer the rich, we're gonna tax them. Come on now, who do you think owns the companies that you're asking money for? Amazon just made over Come like three trillion dollars and paid zero dollars in, in federal the, taxes. Where do you think they're putting most of their money? You think they're just? I just got a trillion dollars in the bank. Nah, they I'm done good. found all the loopholes. Thank. No, no, I'm saying like they're what donating. Do you think they're doing with that money. Thank you. They're donating and what to charity I, and they're they're writing that junk off. No, no, not even. I'm saying they're they're buying corporations that could buy the motherfucking politicians. Mm-hmm. So, th- I mean, they are the corporations that's buying the politicians, really. So, it's it's all just an endless loop of what the fuck we want. You think that's they're gonna the tax Illuminati? Themselves? Yeah, you think they're just gonna tax themselves? And for the audio only, I put it in quotations. Yes, yeah. but they're not about to tax themselves. That's like that. Okay, I, I'm gonna give you hundred dollars, right? Now, with this hundred dollars, you can make two hundred dollars. Okay. Now, Do after it. that two hundred, you can make four hundred dollars. Okay. I forgot the point I was making. <laughs> Just put it like this. Yeah. That's like that's like me, you giving me a hundred dollars and I'm giving you the tax back. Okay, cool. I like that, but no, that wasn't where I was going. Yeah, but I, I felt that that's where you should have went. Cause I'm not about to tax myself for this yeah. income that I got. It, okay, yeah, yeah. Income yeah. tax. Yeah, that, so that's what I'm you just so gave the, me income. The doubling so, of money, I'm not about to say, no, you're giving me too much money. Let oh, me start yeah, but that ain't tax. And let me No, I'm saying, let me say it. So let me start giving you every hundred dollars you give me. Let me just start giving you forty dollars. Yeah. Let me just start giving you sixty dollars. Every hundred dollars you give me. Let me just start that. So now instead of that four hundred dollars, that shit gonna be in the same amount of time. 60, 60, 60, 120, 240. Yeah. Like why would I why would I cost myself that extra hundred and sixty dollars? Why would I do that? Just nah. do it. No one Unless don't you to. make me, I'm not doing Unless it. Unless you make me, I ain't doing it. And how yeah. you gonna make me when I own you? Right. So, I yeah. own you. I, <laughs> own you? Now, how would I look like if I own you? I'm paying you more money. Oh, you're going to try to convince <laughs> them little dumbass Americans out there to roll oh, with them, you. Them Americans give you all oh, the money, so what, I ain't going to give you none. none. Word? Mm-mm. That's how you feel? Mm-mm. You know, you better go pander to the black community, mm-hmm. take this fucking water bottle, and get the fuck out of my office, nigga. Matter of fact, pander to the black community and tell them that we for them so they can we, pay more money to Ooh, me. That make more sense. Illuminati right there. That's Illuminati. Illuminati. That's, the, that's the big goal, the big plan. Not to... Don't make them smart out there. Because right. if they make them smart, then there ain't going to be no more Uncle Ruckuses. And, and look at the table right now. It's, more, it's, so, it's good enough. 
We don't need to add more seats to the rich. We don't table. need no colored folk we over there. Uh-uh. They're gonna try to take all our money. They're already trying to replace us in uh, Bruh, uh and, society. And, and, you, and you know those boardroom meetings, jokes about black people must slap, bro. Drake records in there, nigga. They laughing. Woo! I'm talking about that good gut wrenching laugh, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, because you know they old cigar smoke everywhere. <laughs> They don't want to bring weed or henny in there. They like their cognac with just a little bit in it that they can spend for some fucking Just reason. cognac, not just cognac, cognac jack. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, just uh, just next, cognac. Man, look, they don't want to they don't want to fuck up that that environment. And let me ask you this. Would you want a white person coming at your dinner table just with his cigars and nah. he, he he just sitting you looking messing corny up, and you, shit? You you messing, you messing up, up the good all boy the network. Yeah, you messing up the vibes. Oh, no. What the fuck? So That's not part of it makes sense. What we need to do is come up with our own shit, make our own money. We may not get to their level, but let's just start a level. Let's start our own. I mean, we could we could create our own governments. Why are you playing, nigga? Yeah, instead of the middle class, we the black class. Yeah. <laughs> We said in the middle class, we the black class. We don't know where that's going for. We started here. It's somewhere. We, <laughs> we here. Know that. We got money. We got buying power. What? Have our own elected politician? Man, we might we might run shit. But that's a utopian world, man. Yeah, that's a utopian world. Yeah, we're not there. And yet. we ain't there yet. We ain't, ain't there yet. Well, we we far from that. Ooh. Yo, you know what? I, you know, I was, I was told today we was talking at um um oh Han Noodle. That's that's where we was at. Um, oh. they were saying when people, when like white people go over to Africa, the Africans think the white people, the white women are so beautiful that they propose to them like on, good. Stuff, on spot. Good. No, that's not good. What do you mean? Because it, it, it's funny because it's, it's the opposite. Oh. For us, it's, dang, all them Africans are so beautiful. Like them Africans are beautiful. Look, oh. look. I, it, it it's just African to go to the gym. Oh my goodness. Look, it's. And that skin is so dark. Bro. I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying Beautiful. is, if I saw a woman that could take me out my fucked up position and bring me home to where I know was great in America, I'm asking to marry me too. Look, you either getting pimped or you getting hold in this motherfucker. But you got to get married in America to, to for them to be able to come. Yes. So I propose to you right now. We just engaged. And we taking my black ass home on this motherfucking <laughs> plane across this ocean. <laughs> Bye, family. I thought you about to say on this ship. <laughs> Nah, I don't joke yo, about shit. No, that, I don't joke about yo. shit. I don't joke about <laughs> shit. That, that, that is funny. We're going to take my black ass on this shit. <laughs> and we're going to ride that's together. How, <laughs> that's how it started. That's how they got us. <laughs> so I could fuck you if I get on that boat. Yo. <laughs> yo. How far I'm going on that boat? About 10 minutes? <laughs> we turning around, right? <laughs> we just going out there to fuck, right? Nobody else on that boat? Uh, oh, a few people? Oh, okay. Okay. I could do a few people. Shit, yeah, I fuck them up. <laughs> I'm an African that's, king. <laughs> <coughs> but shit. um, nah, I, that's 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 messed up. How, that ain't messed up. You either you either getting pimped that's or you getting old in this world. Which one? You either getting the dream sold to you or you selling the dream. That's Which one? Messed up, man. Which one? Which one? Which one are you? That's messed up. You the hoe? Or you are you the seller? Hmm? Is you the fucker or you the booty hole, Dev? Which one is you? Hmm? Um, you a top or you a bottom, Dev? Which one are you? I'm Dev. That's so it. so you 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 like both? Or? I'm Dev. No, I'm just Dev. So you you just you just like the fog? The I don't shog know Colorado Springs people. Stop you, calling me bill collectors. You you just like the shog or something? Like, yo. So what do you think about um the uh the, these? You said you like the baby. We was talking earlier. You said you like the baby. Why you like the baby? <laughs> you homophobic at the fuck, bro. Why you, bro. Niggas have scared why you to talk like about the, it. Why you like the baby? <laughs> I because he <laughs> reminds me of that of that old school uh. The '90s uh, flamboyant videos, ones that actually show have vibe, life in it. It's like a, uh, it's like they don't give a fuck about the middle crowd. You either gonna like this shit, or, or you, you don't. Not. Like it's that type of vibe with the baby. You either gonna like this nigga, or you not. He makes his songs that's very specific to him, cause he only got uh, a couple subjects that he really be rolling on. He don't really hear no 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 vast subject matter, but what he what he does do is he delivers on point like a motherfucker. And then his voice creates a melodic feel to you. It, it uh, actually relaxes you when you hear his deep ass voice and then a height beat. Then when you see him animated, it's like, okay, not only are you listening to his voice, you're visualizing a, uh, his words with the actual vi video. So it puts you in a euphoric state just opposed to, uh, let's say, the typical thug rapper. They'll just be in a fucking backyard 
uh, guns everywhere. Or on a green screen. And they screen. niggas, yeah, yeah. And just they niggas dancing, which is cool to watch. But at that point, you're not really paying attention to the video. You're literally just listening to the, listening music. To the music. You could be doing whatever at that point because the video doesn't necessarily engage you. Or the next example would be your video's too motherfucking everywhere. Where, uh, let's say the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what, what's the video that won the, the music award? Uh, uh, the child is gam bingo, uh, gam bingo. Uh, oh, this, so, is uh, this is America. Now the this opposite is of that, that shit could fuck with your That's senses. There's too much shit going on around right yeah. here. Like, I, I don't know what to pay attention to, what to actually focus on. What, what am I supposed to be actually focusing on? Like that shit could fuck with your senses. What the baby does to me, it's like what Ludacris, uh, Missy Elliott did. They made their videos so simple that you just follow the plot in a in, in a way where it's like a storyline, a story storyline. Yeah, so animated storyline with a real what, person in it, with a real person in it, yeah, a real person. And stand up, n- nigga. Nope. with the big nigga. with the big uh, and all that stuff. And all you yeah. remember is his big ass afro on that motherfucker. Yeah, like oh, I wanted to grow my hair back. Yeah, then, yeah, all his it fucking didn't work. Nah, nah. It's cool though. It's cool. Yeah, it's all right. It's cool all right, it's cool. Light skin niggas still prop- prospering, but mm. um, we need more artists like that. Everybody is trying to be cool now, and that's another reason why I like him. He don't give a fuck about being cool. This nigga showed up to a radio station and he goes on stage with a, on a fucking diaper, man. Like you know how many niggas probably gave him the side eye, like nigga, is you, is you serious? He don't care. Right now, he hood. Man? Like my boy I, is like legitimately hood. Like, <laughs> I, well, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I want that quality to start uh, diving a little down in rappers. Cause yeah. a lot of rappers is getting murdered. A lot of rappers is getting killed. A lot of rappers is putting that shit, well, putting that ass- energy out there. Yeah, I would assume we need that to he's stop. he's like one of those that's out there. They mm-hmm. know who he is, but mm-hmm. he kind of dabble and goes. He got one foot in else. and one foot out. Yeah, but that's he got to take the other foot out though. That's cool. And also, I don't want my 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 rappers to be going to jail for life. Like I want to hear your music. I well, he don't, like it. he don't really rap about anything that would send him to jail. Yes, for he life. do. That's how I know you don't listen to him. I do listen to him. Okay. But I mean like I mean like Bobby Schmurda, I just killed you last week type thing. He rap about like, like you know, <laughs> it's funny. This man got three three shooting cases, nigga. <laughs> My boys. He said Oh, he do? Yes. This, oh, I know. This nigga shot somebody. I don't somebody. follow him. I this, just listen to his music. This nigga shot somebody and killed him at Walmart. Then somebody broke in his house and he shot a five niggas came in his house and he shot at Well, that's in his house though. Yes. He's protected. Then some some uh, his his bodyguards beat up beat up a nigga beat a nigga into a coma. Then you get that. he beat up he beat up somebody at the airport. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. And my and boy was the recording shit. them yeah. like, uh, bro, that like, yeah. shit. Happened. <laughs> bro, you ever funny. you ever just be waking up like <laughs> like you know how your mom used to wake you up in the morning when you late for school? She put up the blinds. She asked, yeah, my boy was like slumped. he was slumped on that motherfucker, but like sleep. And the baby's like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. What nah, you that, what you mean? That shit. But that that that, that being said, that's but that's a, the point. That's that the shit like is fucking that we see. We don't know exactly how hard he's actually living it because it seems pretty hard now. Now yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not proud of that. I still like to see some shit like that. My rappers actually talk about that shit. But yeah. then again, I don't want to see another black man get killed or go to jail for something senseless. Right. So 100. Mm-hmm. percent I agree 100 percent with you. But I, I I like this mindset though. We need more of that. We need more animated rap. Honestly, I think that'll um, teach more people to be creative instead of uh, the opposite of creative, which is destructive. Because if you're not creating, yeah. then you're destroying. Yeah, right. And and, and you're starting to per- perpetuate and kind of um, create the same uh, energy within a, a space. That's so hurt, like hurt the baby is you just put the baby in in a space to which he can be great if he hones that energy, mm-hmm. but if he doesn't, then he goes back to like those stagnant rappers like Migos and I don't know, like all the ones that just stands at a they do the same thing all the time. Which like Quavo, like uh not Quavo, um Offset, mm-hmm. I just learned that he know how to dance. You just I didn't know he knew how to dance. He got videos of him being dance. young as a bitch with them arm movements. Yeah, because he was doing that like when he was performing at the BET Awards, yeah. he was doing that perfect, little dances. Perfect choreography. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's perfect dope. Perfect I didn't know he should like incorporate. He should do He's, that. He, is, he should he brand is, that he way more. He already said. They, they talked to him about it after. Yeah, He's they gonna, should brand that way more. The like he is, can be. The issue is all the Migos know how to do is two step. 
fuck? All the Migos as a collective, all they, all they do, do is do is do. Like, imagine uh, Take Off trying to dance. Come on. Now. <laughs> take off. Take off what, nigga? <laughs> take off what? My two feet? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Young nigga popping with a pocket full of. Yo, that really is all them niggas do. Yeah, like, nah. But um, that's kind of like what Hove used to do. But he just used to walk back up, walk back and stage on, uh, back and forth on stage and go, yo, you, 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 say up, uh. yeah, and then do that to the other side. Do, 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 do. Then music well, because start because his, his wife is is the uh, performer. But I'm saying it's boring, nigga. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It's boring. Like that's, I would, it's some people I would not go to see perform live. No, no. It's over. And another creativity aspect is that's why I would, I'll appreciate somebody like Kanye West or Travis Scott who don't necessarily dance, but they wow you with the spectacularness of what the fuck they're putting on. Yeah, it's kind of like even it's a, a show. It's, it's an a experience. show. It's a show. While w- w- that also shit, bro. If I see more of that, it wouldn't necessarily be a show. It'll be an event because. To me, I can't do, I can't do what the fuck Kanye West is doing. Nah, I, I, that that cost. I need to get to that nigga level to afford. Right, right, right. What the fuck he doing? But that damn shit, that's an event, nigga. We could, we could have like a choreography event, nigga. Like anybody could just do that shit, nigga. That show, an uh-huh. event, hell yeah, uh-huh. hell yeah. But yeah, more ra- these rappers need to start expressing themselves in different ways because that shit is fun. That shit is smooth. That shit is, that shit got my brain even thinking I could do. S- I, it, it, it made thugs look cool again. Yeah, and the and the crazy part is, I, as I was watching, I was like, dang. At first, I thought he was just kind of going along with what they was no, doing, like dancing, like, like you know how some people they don't dance, but they go along with the choreography a little bit. It's it's like them R and B singers that pretty much had the people. They just stay in the middle, but people are dancing around them, and they just follow one. Yeah, one like one thing, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought he was doing. But as he started to do it, he did the whole arm and, uh, and neck and all that mm-hmm. crap. I was like, oh, that's that's dope because you don't necessarily you don't always or necessarily see rappers dance while they're performing. Mm. Like and he was literally dancing and and rapping at the same and time. For niggas like that, he even stepped aside from the group so he could show you, no, nah, yeah, I'm nah. doing this shit. Nigga. I got some. I, I got, got some. Moves. Yeah, like, I'm in the cool, front. I, I'm here. Nigga. The group nigga. over there, I'm in I'm center stage. Ooh. Nigga, letting y'all Ooh. know this ain't no Ooh. optical illusion, nigga. <laughs> I'm doing this, nigga. Yeah. What? So I, I definitely appreciated that. I definitely appreciated it. It, it brought it brought me into a new space in music instead of that dark space. It's making me feel better about the Nipsey shit, to be honest. Like instead of uh getting resorting right back to the same dumb shit, let's stop, let's find new new outlets. Now, obviously, I'm almost positive it's gonna it's at here right now. Eventually. It's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go back up. Go back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, this shit never stays. Nah, never. nah. Never. Um, but yeah, I, I I like I agree with you. Um. The animations. When I watch the baby uh, performance, he can do a little bit more. He can get a little bit more creative with his oh, he's going his presentations. Yeah. But he came out with the bodysuit yeah. just like. And I, at first, fun. I was like, "Damn, he really that big? Why he look all deformed like that?" <laughs> no, like, oh wait, yeah, this legs is in the skinny as yeah, fuck. But legs, mad you big. Mad? <laughs> <laughs> he are jumping around yeah. and it's not moving. So oh. I'm like, "Dang, is he really that big?" I'm like, "Nah, he not that. Big. That's that's fake." Yeah. I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's the, that's from the video, but." Mm-hmm. He just having fun, like how he was having on this video. He's acting like a big ass baby. Yeah, for real. I love that shit. You're right, right. like You're little baby don't act like no baby. He nah. act retarded. Little, I mean, <laughs> little baby act, act. Little baby act like this is his first so, day in juvie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like he, he ain't he ain't too hard, but he hard enough. He hard enough. Like, but the baby, yeah, he be he just acting. He having fun. He's the baby. He's the baby. You could literally say that, like Ludacris, Ludacris, Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott. Yeah. Like even fucking Buster Rhymes. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, he was. He was yeah, very. He was very, very animated. animated. Even no, everything, everything about Buster Rhymes is fucking animated. Yeah. I don't think he had one, one uh song where he went went above. Not this decibel. <laughs> so at some point in the song. <laughs> at some point in the song, yeah, Not yeah. This <laughs> Not this decibel. <laughs> I'm Every thinking you about song. to say something profound. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> just that, just that. Yeah, I, I never heard a soft spoken song from that nigga. Not that that was his. Not that that's what he was going for. I'm not Man. saying that he should. I was know. about to say, um, touch it, but no. Nah, nah, nigga. Because you, you remember that part. It's like he got a, the mic be right here. It's like you ready, bus? All right. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's stupid. That's stupid. 
in the world is going on? Keep talking. Keep talking. All right. I, I, I um, now, another thing that I want to see stop is uh, a lot of these rappers, they love jewelry. I get it. Jewelry is an amazing thing. It, it boosts you. It makes you look good. I get it. It makes you feel a bunch of insecure shit to me. Like, do you know why kings wore jewelry? Like, our, because that's what they say. We want to feel closer to our, our ancestors. Our ancestors, yep. You know, let's think about this. Okay. I'm thinking. Why do white pe- Why can't white people say nigga? Because they're not our ancestors. What they did to our ancestors. From what they did to our ancestors. So why can kings wear jewelry? Why can kings? Yeah, why can kings wear Cause jewelry? Because our ancestors, typically it's passed down. It's from our ancestors. It's connected to our ancestors. Do you think kings will go to the next motherfucking uh, empire? Go, hmm. I see your king with all that fucking jewelry. I'm going to ask him to buy some. Do you know at that moment what he felt? What he felt? Insecure. Because why should a king feel anything that another king has and makes him feel insufficient? Because that's why we took over shit to get their shit. So essentially, they got jewelry because they either took it over, had it passed down, or rich enough to afford it. Right? Yeah. What are we doing? All we doing is just buying the shit. Even if jewelry is passed down, it's just to feed an ego to feel like you're worth something that you actually aren't. Okay. So my thing is, buy your jewelry. Still feel good. Also, for every article of jewelry you have, I want you to start putting out the price tag on it. Have a calculator and show this is how much I actually spent. This is how much I actually got. This is how much uh, after taxes and all that good shit. This is how much I put down and everything. I want, I want, I want, I want rappers to sh- just, just show it. Just show it. Why? Because that is going to put actual numbers into a person's mind when they want this shit or envy, uh, envy this shit. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people, they don't picture the numbers. No, they don't picture the work it's going to take to get those numbers. Right. But when they picture the numbers. When they see the jewelry, they don't picture the numbers behind it. So I just think it's, it's, just, it's an experiment that could work because we're not really checking your pockets. We're just showing if you want this type of stuff, this is how much it's going to run you. Right. Really put a figure into a person's mind so it could give them boost, something logical and tangible to hold on to because I can't physically say I'm going to have your chain, the exact chain that you have. All I can say is I'm going to have my own variation of it. Right. So how much is that shit going to cost? And then... For the smart people, they'll realize you're a dumbass. You pay that much for that? For that right for there? That? Just that? Oh, what gave me that idea was the fucking, uh, you ever seen, I think it's on Complex or some shit like that, but how much my jewelry costs. Pretty much rappers just come, uh, bring all their jewelry, and then they just say, that costs about that, that costs about that, that costs that, that costs that. Bro, there was not one chain on that motherfucker I could say was worth that. Like, none of that shit was worth that amount. I don't even think it was worth $1,000. And these are some 250000 200. How is that possible when jury doesn't depreciate? They, they, got, they got got? That I mean, I gotta go get my Glock. Nigga. I, for one, I don't I, even like shooting Glock. I don't even like, I like, I like, I like Rugers. I, I, I gotta try it one day. But that's why I like Envy, what he's doing, showing the housing, actually helping people know how to buy houses. He's doing it the perfect way, the perfect way. Yeah. I actually wish more artists would do that, buy houses in their community, show, show them actually selling out their community to, to people in the projects. Yeah. Actually show Nipsey what his word is into yourself. Because everybody talks about fucking jewelry, but how many rappers, and I want these rappers to come out too, the old ones. I know I'm going on a tangent, but I want these rappers to come out too, the old ones. Do you even still care about the jewelry you fucking bought? When you were young, with no money, really? Like Big Daddy Kane, for instance. How many of those fucking chains that do you even still have? Do you regret that shit? Boy, his neck probably weak right now. Oh, boy. Nigga, got the hunch in his fucking neck, nigga. <laughs> all those fucking From chains. From all them chains. Even Slick Rick. Fucking, like, when that jewelry shit really started to pop, I want to know, like, these rappers need to come out and actually say, was this all a waste of fucking money? Because now it's an epidemic. $250,000 for a necklace? I get it. It's diamonds is dancing. Look at it. That's some nigga shit. 
That's it is. Shit. That's some nigga shit. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to see more of my artists, and that 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 got me on a tangent with the animated rappers. What I do do want to see, what I don't put more see. money into the right things as opposed to. No, I don't care what you put your money in. I care about what you're promoting and talking about. Oh yeah, 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 right. right. You buy what the fuck, but you, if you want to go broke, you go broke. But it's still. Tied to putting your money in, the I right get it, places. but I can't tell no man where to. Put oh yeah, no, 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 no. But yeah. you want you want to see it get to a point to where you don't gotta have to tell yeah. them do anything because it, it, it just happens. Yeah, it's proven steps. It just happens because it, it like I actually like the even though it was short, I kind of like the Cardi B and um Offset performance. Like it's, yeah, yeah, it yeah. showed that they put time into putting together or they put money into getting a creative director or whatever to put together that performance. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like Cardi is going into a realm of Beyonce when oh, it yeah, comes to here. like she performances. Here. Like she's putting more into okay, well, how do I want this to look as opposed to, you know, I don't know, I don't know what Nicki Minaj does. I've never seen her perform, but Damn. like I, I don't know what she does when she performs. But as opposed to just getting up there and just you know showing off your body, that's fake. Oh, I did see her perform one time. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She like a typical rapper. Well, she, female she rapper. Goes, she raps she and do that and then eventually she'll squat, you know, show the little yeah. lips. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you know, turn around, shake her ass real quick. Uh essentially, nothing. A bunch of yeah. nothing. Yeah. You're there for the song. Right. Which like I could have said huh? another reason why I don't really do go to concerts, but I gotta be there for the vibe. I gotta know the whole thing. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And you gotta you gotta re- like I would go to a Chris Brown concert. Cause it's a performance. Like he literally performs. Oh, if they're putting on a show, I would go. I would go to a Beyonce. Cause she performs. I would. I would. I, I, I would. I, I wouldn't want to. It depends. And let me put it like this. I won't. I don't. I don't. The reason I won't want to go is not because of Beyonce. It's because of all the hot breath. It's because of all them niggas the stepping on my shoes. The <laughs> beehive. Everybody moving, trying to get closer. Annoying. Bro, trying Listen, to get I just be up from in the nose, please. I no, can see enough. Bro, I w- the jumbo screen is big enough. And let me know when the last five songs co- about to come on, because I'm, go- I'm, I'm about out. to skip that. I'm out. Nigga. I'm out. Um, nigga, that line out there. So it's not because of Beyonce I wouldn't want to go. You ever been to a concert over at Darien Lake? Bro, yes. Back with 50 Cent and Mike out Jones. out oh, of there is nigga. horrid boat. Bro, I never, I, and now mind you, this is back when Mike Jones and 50 Cent was popping, so 2005, nigga. Mike Jones, Mike who? Mike Jones, who? Right. Yeah, I was just listening so to him yesterday. I, I was uh, literally <laughs> holding on to this shit, and I literally was in a grudge match with this bitch. Like, I want this spot. I don't, I don't want this spot. Like, literally, <laughs> a grudge just match. Just trying to get out. Yeah. No, nah, nah, I was just trying to watch the show then, so I could imagine about to get out. Oh. Because now it's time to go. Yeah. Piss me off. And you try to leave early, and it's still you ain't leaving too early. late. You might as well. Because you know how many people leaving early, leaving early? You gotta leave. You gotta beat the leaving early. Leaving early. early. Leaving early. And you gonna you gonna miss half the <laughs> show. Half the show at that point. Because I was waiting. I, I went when Kendrick came last year around this. Around oh, Kendrick. Oh, don't go with the nigga. Was, pretty much, I can't go to cult like Kendrick followers. was last, and he only he only did like probably ten two. minutes. Like it was literally like, like ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Couldn't have been more. He was like, super literally they, they not even ten minutes. Probably it was probably. Bro, they ain't paying for that. It was like yeah, it was ten minutes. Everybody else was on, then Kendrick yeah, came out. It's usually about two minutes of them swearing. Ah! Then he'll be talking, and then the song will drop. He'll play about the first two and a half, and then maybe three minutes. Oh, so, yeah, switch. it's probably like a good five to six minutes. And then he went off. He walked off, and mm-hmm. then everybody started leaving in the car, just waiting. Man, fuck that. Anybody with a cult like following, I can't, I can't go to your shit. When, if I know it's going to be packed, can't go to your shit. Can't That's a fact. And you know it's going to be packed every, every time. Every time. So, so I'll, I'll just, I'll cool. look on Facebook That's, and Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> they need to make these, sh- they need to make these events more easier to fucking leave or something. Is it, this is insane. I don't know how Lying, they would do flying it. Flying cars. I, I, I don't. Underground railroads. Nah, because <laughs> now I got to shoot your shit down. You going to boss up on me like that, nigga? What? What? <laughs> you just going to pull my bitch? Bro, you know your bitch well, leaving you, if a nigga pull, pulling in a flying car. She ain't never even seen that. You talk about, oh, he got money. Yeah, that's like, that. Like, yeah, your yeah. bitch is gone. He got a flying yeah, car. Oh, my God. What? What? I see Drake, the first nigga with it. Now nah, he got a plane already. He ain't. You know that shit was free? It was free. Yeah, he ain't paid for that. The plane was free? How you, get a, how you get a, pla- a free plane? Oh, bro. That's how I know. You, you ain't never had real money. <laughs> Come from somebody that never had real money. <laughs> That's how I know, bro. You ain't have real money. 
you still would have no, broke my. No, you don't have no real. <laughs> do, do you remember the conversation we had yesterday? No, on Wednesday. Uh, oh, work. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to air it out? <laughs> do you it's remember rough, the conversation nigga. we had it's, yesterday? It, it's rough. <laughs> All I'm saying is, when you got money, you get freer shit. How do you get a free plane? You he, gotta have that free type of money. He ain't play OVO. Or you had that free type of money. <laughs> you ain't. Once you reach a certain, he ain't pay for OVO on there either. It was a gift, bro. bro. It was a gift. Yeah, to the nigga that owns the the airplane company. So, yeah. So my boy got just a a free Freightliner. I mean, a uh, pass. You looking plane. at it the wrong way? Nah, screw that. That's free promotion for the airline company. Do you know? How when they got OVO on there? It don't got nothing else it's, on there. No, nah, no, nah, I got the. I'm almost positive it has their symbol on there. If I not, ain't see it. Oh well, it was probably there's some way, shape, or form. Their name is on that fucking plane. Unless like their that plane, no, because it's a. Unless Bro. that plane is flying like, but it's not a normal passenger plane. So no, it's personalized. Yeah. So, essentially. Oh, okay, he must. Okay. Be, he must be in business with these people because. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, I, he got to be. But these is billionaires them. we're talking about. What's a forty million dollar plan? He, he a millionaire. He ain't no billionaire. We ain't talking about Drake. Oh, we're yeah, talking yeah. about the nigga that gave Drake. We don't oh, know yeah, his. Yeah, yeah. Like he, nah, he, what's he a forty million dollars to? Shoot, we need to make soul playing. No. Why are you playing? No, nah, no. we, we would miss every stop. <laughs> oh shit, we supposed to be. <laughs> oh, we supposed to be. <laughs> and traffic Forget. control. Here we go. <laughs> Putting that bitch on cruise. <laughs> getting on my on Facebook. And nah, shit. Shannon. Shannon would be uh uh. He he will have to be Kevin Hart walking around the plane. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Forget, Hold on. Forgetting. I need to start writing this shit down. Ah, God damn, what y'all doing in here? Gay, gay man. <laughs> Nigga name was really gay man. Not gay man. Gay man. Gay man. <laughs> man, I'm part of the alphabet community too. What's up? I'm part of that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but free play. That's crazy. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with no free play. You gotta you gotta get to the level, man, where you get free equipment. I need I need something free. Everything. Give me this whole building free or something. Like, come on, what's up? None? How about to say you you already hustled that. Yeah, that's a fact. I'm still <laughs> hustling right now. All right, y'all, we're about to get out of here. Um it's been a it's been a, a quick show. Quick. Yeah, quick. We haven't done an hour and fifteen minute show in a while. Well, let's run into the misled dreams of uh, high school. I think I could wrap that up in about five minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. That's your closing closing statement. Okay. And I might rebuttal in 30 seconds. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> That's how we're going to do this. I'm bringing it for a second. You, you, have, you have 60 seconds. Go. <laughs> you answer nothing. You got two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't answering my question. You have two seconds. <laughs> I will you pay tax the middle class? My boy said, uh. Yes, but I have to. <laughs> you know some bullshit. When you, yeah, yeah, that's Bye, Bernie. We ain't feeling the burn no more, and not that burn. I'm about to say the whole country got a chlamydia pill. Y'all, y'all be all right. Y'all good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody had sex for two weeks. This is America. We talk. This is America. Yo, somebody gonna break it up, and now chlamydia is just back on the market. It's back on the market. Yeah. All right, six seconds. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I saw these motherfucking kids nowadays. They just <laughs> I couldn't go that fast. Um, go that fast. But all these kids, they think they're gonna be rich. Why you I went that? to a graduation today, and uh, the lady said that sixty-six point whatever uh, is graduating. She was like, "If you think that number is small, then uh, four years ago our number was actually thirty-three or some shit like that." What school? Percent. What school was this? This is it was Douglas, but it's the oh, new Northeast Northwest. No, yes, yes. Okay, dirty dog. <laughs> Back in those names. See? See? That's another reason why people dropped out of school. I ain't going to this dirty ass. I ain't going to dirty like dirty, ass. dirty dog. See what I'm saying? We, but we got to take pride in our community. That's like still... Franklin, they have all the mice. See? You got to stop with the... <laughs> <laughs> he fake black, man. He is fake black. We supposed to love the community. You you just bringing up old ass shade no, when I'm, you was in high school. I'm just saying, listen. We ain't seen no mice in soda. I know they got it because it's, it's, it's a building. Yeah. It's an old building. But we ain't seen no mice. All right, let's move on. Because yes, there was. I'm sick. I said shit. we ain't see no mice. I know there is some, but we ain't see them. Somebody, somebody Franklin put in a got, comment. He's tripping. Franklin, he, he, he ain't been there since seventh grade, nigga. Franklin, you ain't, you ain't get out the rat traps with us, nigga. You don't know what happened back in the Frank, day. Frank, whoa, I was an instrumental major, so I wasn't in all them extra. Like you was in the black box stuff, so that's where they be. 
instrumental major. I was up on the platform too. We ain't had none of that. We ain't had none of that. No. Yo ass was above the platform where they motherfucking smelled the food all the goddamn time. And y'all motherfuckers left food up there all the goddamn time. So where do you think they're going to go? Black box, we're not allowed to eat in that motherfucker. So where do you think they went? Y'all still ate in there though. You know exactly. <laughs> you know we niggas. You know we niggas. Come on now. You, you know we don't yeah. follow too many yeah, rules now. Say, what you mean? Can't like follow all the rules yeah, like now. Like y'all listen to the rules. Hey, hey I, I, I ain't murder nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stuck with that rule. Shit. Yeah. Man, point is everybody there. I heard about period, the mm. city girl shit about eight thousand times, and I heard mm. I, every time somebody said secure the bag, they all world. They all world. Now, I'm not saying secure the bag is a bad thing, but y'all motherfuckers most likely are going to go to college. That ain't securing, that ain't securing no, no bags. bags. That's spending the bag. Now, after college, cool, whatever. But they all are under the now impression. Now you got to pay back the bag. Now you got to pay back the bag. Then, if you're not going to college, you're more than likely going to the workforce. Another not securing the bag because you spent X amount of time, X amount now of dollars. Now you got to give the bag. Now you got to give the bag to other shit that... Well, now you need that somewhere to stay. Now you need food. Now you constantly are shelling out the bag when you receive the bag. So what is getting the bag to you? Isn't getting the bag something that you can literally say, I have all of this. All of this is mine. I could do what the fuck I want and please with it. I it, Pretty much I'm not a fucking translucent being where the money goes right through me. Like, I didn't even touch it. I didn't even touch it. As soon as I get it. But no, I didn't get it. Excuse me. <laughs> Fumbled it to the white man. Like, like their, their <laughs> dreams. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy that they have their dreams. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to crush your dreams. But I, want, I wanted to hear more logical things. Like, for instance. Practical plans, things. Practi- practical things. It is logical to, to see yourself in riches. Yes. But we have to be practical, be practical about of, how we obtain exactly. those riches. And that's what I wanted to hear. I want to hear more business plans, more business, business models. How are you going to start your business? How are you going to start your ventures? Are you thinking about investing? Are, are you focused on your credit? How are you going to do these things? It's not your dream. Is literally you're gonna get out tomorrow and start seeing a hundred thousand a year. Like their mindsets is all in this this hyperbolized world. Like everything's gonna be golden. We made it past high school. The world we're gonna tackle. Do you know shit gets rough? A year later. Uh, uh, two baby daddies. Oh. <laughs> and that's funny, two baby daddies in a year, <laughs> bitch. God. Damn. Record, ain't it? That's a record, right? <laughs> Bruh. A year later. I don't even think that's possible. <laughs> you don't know that. You you have an objective mind. She could have had triplets. All right. One stayed in the oven a little longer. Look, look, this is possibilities out daddy. here. Imagine you had triplets, but you but you got two you had two <laughs> things can happen, Dev. It's not an anomaly. It's not a, it's not it's not like a it's not like a man getting pregnant or some shit like that's it's not funny. an anomaly. All I'm saying is, <laughs> let's be more practical with our children. Let's actually give them the truth about what the fuck's going to happen after high school. You about to be broke. Yeah, nigga, struggling. The, the millennials still struggling. Eating, you like Generation Z. So. Eating noodles. <laughs> you heard my man Devin Horace. <laughs> to pay back 60000 you know oodles yeah. and noodles every night. Nah, it was pasta. It was pasta. My story sound better. <laughs> <laughs> oodles and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got it. It was pasta. Yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> Shout out to $20, twenty dollars, twenty dollars a week, twenty dollars uh, a, a month. Pasta. A bu- tell them little niggas that a month. They gonna look pasta. Like, they gonna look like what about for dinner? <laughs> pasta. pasta. <laughs> Breakfast. Now, 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 he did have his fiance like treating him sometimes. But why is you? No, we gotta. Put the extremes. Technically, we opposite of gossiping. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we get the we, talking points, okay? <laughs> All right? We saying it's hard out here for niggas. All right? Unless you got a fiancé. So get you a fiancé. So you telling these young ass kids to get married? All right, now. You're going to get somebody slapped. <laughs> Listen, two baby, this is to avoid the two baby daddies in a year. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do? That's your expectation? I'm avoiding. No, That's no, no. That's your expectation no, no, for I'm avoiding. Hoes? But wait, wait, wait. You know how bad that girl got to be if you just <laughs> literally say, try it for one baby dad. Hey, hey. I no, know you're gonna be a out husband. here. Uh, Try for a husband. Uh, be a but Christian. You know how bad abstinence. <laughs> what is this girl doing? Just sucking dick in the back of the cafeteria. <laughs> what is she doing? Where you gotta have this conversation with her? God damn. No, I'm just, I'm just being a Christian. I'm covering all bases. All I'm saying is, <laughs> let's be more honest with these goddamn kids. You are sixty because you gotta think. 66% of these motherfuckers ain't graduating. That means 44% of these motherfuckers was in their graduating class. That means, more than likely, they're still friends, right? If Backwards. 
if you got to say it backwards. 66% graduated, so 44, 40 roughly percent did not graduate. Yeah, they what all I said. You said it backwards. You said 44% graduated and 60 didn't. Okay, so well, okay, so we can safely say out of that 44%, they're more than likely still going to fuck with the 66%. Right. So out of that 66%, birds of a feather fuck together, this nigga wasn't doing shit in school. Now, what do you think you're going to do when he fucking graduated? Not do shit. So now you're about to chill with a not shit nigga, and eventually what you about to become? <laughs> not shit. <laughs> That's so, the equation. Yeah. <laughs> That's the equation. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put it <laughs> on there. Equals. A not shit nigga. Birds of a feather flock together, right? Yeah. Okay. So essentially, why can't be the opposite? Okay. Successful? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the opposite. Oh, so now wait, they got to get sixty-six percent. Never mind. They might have it. They got to. So, they got to go through extra to get to college. Or so now we got to bring in the variables with the sixty-six percent. So we got to bring in the x's <coughs> and the y's. You can't. So you can like have, terms you, can only be put together. So about. 0.2% of you motherfuckers <laughs> is about to actually have it. Because all y'all are not like terms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about 2%, 0.2% of y'all motherfuckers are sitting here today going to make it. All right? The rest of you going to make it, all right? 0.2% of y'all going to make it. That's the quote. That's the word. That's the uh, title of the show. 0.2% of y'all going to make, gonna make it. it. The rest, <laughs> good that's luck. funny. Because that, that, that go with uh, all the show. Literally, 0.2% of y'all gonna make it. For the politicians, 0.2% of y'all gonna make it. Nigga. Rappers, 0.2% of y'all gonna, y'all gonna make, make it. These high schoolers, 0.2% of y'all gonna make it. Might as well give up all these dreams yeah. and start something practical. Learn how to change a tire. All right? You'll always have a job. Trades. Learn trades. Learn trade. trade a tire. Change, change a tire. tire. I said saying, trade a tire. Yeah, I'm about to say, okay. No, no, no. Learn how to, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, swap <laughs> tires out. That's a whole business. You the used yeah. tire business, nigga. Boy, what? You always have a job. You always, always have, have need for work. With any of the trades that they used to teach us, you will always have a job. Plumbing, electrical, uh, 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 uh um, HVAC, nigga. And, uh, and those are jobs you could feasibly make a hundred thousand a year. Easy, because everybody needs you, bro. Easy, but nobody wants to be that. Nobody, because everybody picture a plumber is somebody that's bending down your sink with his crack out. Like that's the image you have that's when you really, picture a plumber. That's really true. Nigga, nobody oh, wanna do that. Get nigga. You see what I'm saying? Struggling and shit. Look, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Pass me the rest. <laughs> Fresh off a cigarette, nigga. Uh, man, you see I gotta I'm go saying? back to my truck because I just left to smoke the pipe, <laughs> nigga. A job that should take 20 minutes. He there for three hours. Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. The this, water got in my eyes. This shit is broke. <laughs> what y'all doing here? <laughs> I, damn, I ain't asked you that. Nigga, but that's really what they... They don't picture... Yo, imagine if they started sensationalizing trades. So imagine a sexy... I'm talking about sexy-ass lunch lady walking in there. Like that. You dropped your salad. Lunch lady? Well, we in college at this point. Oh. Oh yeah, you pick. Go ahead, pick up pick my up salad up. for me. You know what I'm saying? And or or even let's. What's another? Okay, imagine a, a sexy ass garbage lady. We don't see garbage lady. You really don't, cause they all men. So that's what I'm saying. Let's sexualize them. Guess okay. Men nah, too. They let's nah, say, cause they're gonna, they gonna end up cleaning the whole garbage. <laughs> we don't need to be doing this. <laughs> no, imagine a gay dude's garbage truck. It don't even smell like garbage. <laughs> I call it the ice cream truck. It smell like Fruit Loops. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He don't even got a shirt on. He just got the jacket wrapped around him. Uh, get that garbage. Yeah. I will. I'm going to go get that garbage over there. I will on my time. Yeah. <laughs> who is he talking who to is, like who that? Who is he talking to? That gar- Ooh, that garbage like, stain. Right? <laughs> Girl, don't touch that like that. <laughs> no. That's funny. <laughs> Ah, we love all people. <laughs> I know I do. You, on the other hand, what you mean? You still my, mad off the homies. Toy Story? Actually, I don't know where that came from because there was no scene in there to, to which he was by. He was with Bo Peep. So you started a controversy on your damn self. <laughs> if you would have did your homework, <laughs> nah, it came from Disney. Listen, Disney not, tweeted I'm, it. I don't give a fuck what the truth is. The lies more entertaining. That's a fact. You was pissed, nigga. That's, I was. You was in here swinging. I like, was. You was like, in here swinging like Trey and Boys in the Hood. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna say, why you name dropping? <laughs> now you. You know what? Uh, you should have just let it smoke. You should just let it run. <laughs> There's more Trays out here in this world, Trey. I mean, Dev. 
<laughs> Call me Trey. My name not Trey. Everybody Trey now. Everybody Trey. Yeah. You Trey. You I'm Trey. Trey. They Trey. No, I'm Ash Trey. Ash Trey. <laughs> Y'all I'm already know. Bring us at ears for next week's show. This is Roy Flex the Bread's introspective inside talk show. I am King Dev Dope. And this is Shannon Shenanigans. Yes, sir. I love you. Um, I was going to say China not here. Oh, shit. Yeah, my bad. Did we close that thought out? You did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you said, so they, <laughs> we just ended the show now. We <laughs> talking again. <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we end that? Did we end that thought out? Yeah, we did because you said that um, they, they need to be more practical with trades and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. And then yeah, we ended it with the trade comment from oh, Boys yeah. in the Hood. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So y'all already know we about to get out of here. Yes, sir. I thought we was gonna end at a, a, a hour and fifteen minutes, but we went to the normal time, so it's cool though. Y'all already know. Bring us out of here for next week's show. This is Royal Flex the Brand's introspective inside talk show. I am King Dev Dope. I am Shannon Shenanigans. Uh, uh, Noel is on somebody's beach. But I still love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Uh, uh, introspect. Uh, uh, tip inside. Hope you come back next week. Come back next week.